guys in the last video or one of the previous videos that we had this big old box here. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in. Oh wow, so we have a box in a box. That's uh, okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's juicy, dude. I don't know what's in here that's juicing, but oh man. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. We have ducting for the heater. More ducting. This is our seat belt controller, igniter, a brake master cylinder. So we have power steering stuff, more venting. We have a lower harness, which definitely needs to be cleaned up. Oh. Now, uh, silly me thought I was done cleaning on this build, but looks like we got a whole new batch of parts to start cleaning. Uh, we'll go ahead and get everything all spiffy looking nice. Again, the motor's looking real clean, really good. A bit of change of plans here. Good, good lord. It is up there. So we're going to go ahead and actually, we are going to do in this, we're going to do this frame route. It's actually worse than I thought. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the frame rail replacement I have for the passenger side and go ahead and just get that out of there. Okay, so if you guys have not yet seen the frame rail replacement, this is it right here from Excessive, full blown, full out piece. And I was kind of measuring up, kind of sizing it up earlier just to kind of see how far it goes up. And it actually covers up all of this. So we're gonna be able to chop all this crap out of here, which is awesome. Not as uh, easy as you'd hope. Come on. Woo! Well, this is in the way now. Oh, that's weird. Okay, um, I might have messed up somehow. All right, measure twice, cut once, kids. This is your lesson now. Here we go, I created way more work for myself. How'd I do that? How did I do that, dude? All right, well, I mean, you can see though, generally, it's not fully flush up. I'm getting caught on some like seam sealer stuff up here, but that's generally what we got going on. But now I have this freaking gap up here. What junk is that, man? Oh boy, well, I guess this is my first time doing something like this. Well, at least first time doing a frame rail replacement. So I guess we are gonna learn along the way. So first mistake has been done, but it's not one we can't fix. And I went ahead and picked up the thickest uh, gauge sheet metal I could actually find was 16 gauge, which is actually pretty damn close. Uh, probably about a gauge off, I would say. I went ahead and made our pieces already. We got this one piece here and this one piece here. So basically, and I also sanded it down just a little bit because we're also going to be using some weld through primer. So I'm going to prime and paint this whole thing. Therefore, it won't rust like on the inside out, you know what I mean? And that way, we can still get some nice welds without kind of sanding the paint off to get to bare metal. So this stuff is super expensive, but you kind of need it to do, to do the job right. So what I did, I kind of trimmed off to get, because it had a bit of a radius, as you guys can see, so I made it a point. And where are we at? That is going to go just like that. You know, something along those lines. It's kind of hard to show you guys one-handed, but it'll all come together here in a second. <laughs> I'm snaking them right now, man. This angle is a little weird. Alrighty, so as we let that dry up, we are also letting the, oh, we, first off, we cleaned up our work zone. Looks 10 times nicer, right? It feels a whole lot better. And just here, this is what we chopped out, ripped out of there. This camera, man. Working on getting that lens for you guys, don't you worry. Here, we got it all primed up, ready to go. Don't mind the kind of nasty cuts. Like I said, this is my first time doing a frame rail replacement, so I'm kind of learning as I go as well as far as where to cut, how much to cut off, 
and kind of like my limits. Quick update, uh, here we are, have the, have the jack kind of lifting it up, pressing it up against the car, therefore the gap is super tight. And up there I put a, a big old G clamp, C clamp, and clamped the upper ends of the metal together because actually they're a little bit too wide. So if I show you guys back here, I don't know, hopefully we can fill this up. Thing looks fire, so uh, let's go ahead and glue her up. All right, here we are, day two at the frame rail replacement. I uh, just actually did a little bit of an eyeball alignment on the E36. My wheel was turned like 30 degrees to the right, so I'm like, all right, this is not cool. Hopefully, the 2J swap thing is is still going to be possible. Um, you know, anything is possible, guys. Uh, my goal was to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. We're not there, but you know, anything is still possible. <laughs> I've been doing a bunch of like reading and watching a bunch of videos on how to MIG and fill and do all this kind of stuff here and there. So one thing I realized as to why my kind of welds up top kind of just came out like crap. So with the torch, since I'm welding the seam, I'm, I'm pointing the torch upwards. I'm not downwards in the crack. That's basically why gravity is not on my side here. So I need to figure out a way to get my torch and the actual wire to feed in that gap as opposed to above it or below it because that's why I'm not getting that that gnarly kind of looking quality job. And again, I'm no, I'm no fabricator. You know, I'm learning. I hope to become a good fabricator one day. But um, this will be fine, guys. Nothing to worry about. I'll show you guys. I'm going to do some grinding, clean it up a little bit. We also have to go ahead and weld the inside part, which is what actually what I'm going to go ahead and do now. And we'll go ahead and clean it up, paint it up, get it looking like factory. So let's just keep on rolling. Okay, so we got the whole frame uh, rail welded on in here. And we're learning, we're getting better. I'm no professional, but uh, as you can see up here, it came out a little bit better. Uh, like I said, the problem is that um, I just can't get the torch. And I, I'm sorry, in previous videos I called it a, um, a spool gun. It's a torch. I couldn't get the torch to actually feed the wire into the crevice. So it, it just didn't really want to work out for me that well. Um, I got it securely, securely welded in there, front and back, both sides, uh, top and, well, bottom. So now we're going to go ahead and grind off the access, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some of that crazy USC metal, all metal crazy filler, and uh, smooth it all out. And um, honestly, you, it should look factory when we're done. And then we'll go ahead and toss some primer, toss some paint on it, and uh, we'll be done on that side. God, so we found some more freaking another little hole in the floor right there. You know, I started, I found that like as I was picking at stuff, but of course, um, <laughs> you know, again, for those of you that are new, this is not my build, this is not my car. Um, actually, it was my car, and then I sold it to my buddy of mine, and then now we're doing like a basic budget build on it. There's a motor for it right there, just a KA. I'm gonna be doing the um, head gasket on it here shortly. But yeah, I wasn't even gonna do this, uh, the frame, the passenger frame rail, but I figured I should. Um, would be better off that way. So as you guys can see, looking really, really good. I, I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before, but man, it's a, it's, it's a world's difference. But all in all, I mean, that, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. So uh, right on, man. Went ahead and picked up some truck bed liner spray. I had to take a picture, but uh, that stuff actually works out pretty nice. So got the whole frame rail pretty much all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel back on, and then I'm gonna start working on that little spot on the floor. Uh, probably before that, I'll go ahead and just empty out this whole car. Because as you guys can see, just filled with a bunch of crap. <laughs> so uh, let's drop her back down, clean her up, and we'll do some. Uh, I guess we're back into that whole rust repair deal, but um, it's just part of the build, guys. It's the way it goes. So uh, again, appreciate you. Let's get to it. If anyone's in need of a high pressure power steering line for a 240, let me know. Real cheap. Got two of them. All right, got it looking a little bit better, right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna get the cutoff wheel 
get that little spot right there you can see in the center of the screen uh, cut that out and then we should be good to go to repair that so um, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do get the sound detonating out the way and we'll be good We got a fire. We got a fire. Oh, almost fell over. We have a fire. Groovy. Okay, so as you can see, we're pretty much ready to get our replacement panel in there. I went ahead and stuffed in some primer in that frame rail in there, vacuumed all the crud out. Here is our replacement piece zoom out a bit here um, this is I believe I think it's 22 gauge which is not thick uh, it's not thin though not too thin so we're gonna go ahead and put this back in here if you guys see all these holes in the center I drilled there that's to go ahead and tie back into the main uh, frame rail right there um, not needed but you know they did it from the factory so we're gonna go ahead and replicate that All right guys, so it's probably been a couple hours. I just really honestly just wanted to get this complete because this was another added to the list rust repair that I didn't initially plan on doing uh, amongst probably about another 10, 15 spots that I already did. We tossed some paint in here and I've just been kind of getting some practice at some welding. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so. Calvin underscore Molly. Uh, basically just having some fun. Trying to learn this machine a little bit, trying to learn my, trying to expand my mix skills. By no means is it perfect, but uh, it's definitely progress, guys. I need, I need to work on like stopping and starting the bead as well as keeping my hands super steady. I guess critiques or you know improvements that uh, you think I could make, let me know, please go ahead. Just having fun, just you know, just a good, just a good MIG Monday. All right, guys. So I actually have a bit of a question for you now. The chassis harness is, I believe, for a single cam. At least that's what I'm believed to be. It uh, it be because of this one plug. And obviously, um, on our engine harness, this is obviously a dual cam harness. We have this brown plug. And now usually that plugs into the. I, I believe it's this guy right here. But this one I think is white because I believe white is single cam. And it doesn't want to fit into this plug, so I actually just did a quick little research on our whole wiring info here. Now it turns out I need to go ahead and basically chop this off and put the single cam connector on. Now the single cam one is white, as I showed you guys before. This dual cam one is gold or brown. So only problem is I don't have the engine harness from the single cam. Now this is where you guys will be coming to play. If any of you guys out there have a single cam engine harness that you are no longer using, or if you just have access to a parts car that has a please go ahead and if you could chop yours off and send yours to me. Uh, my PO box is in the description. Um, just let me know if you guys have it or are able to send it. I mean, hell, if you, if you want some money for it, I guess I could throw you a few bucks, but um, let me know. All right, so we're back at the old Calvin's garage. Look familiar? Uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to close this video out. I was going to close it out the next day, but it turns out my shop has no heat. It hasn't had heat for the past almost week, uh, like five days. So bit of a bummer. Hopefully we get that sorted out as soon as possible. I actually have two videos. Well, I actually have another video already filmed for you guys, so make sure you tune in for the next one. We're going to go ahead and replace the uh, head gasket. Uh, so that was a pretty cool video. Don't want to miss it. Make sure you guys tune in for the next one. Turn notifications on. Subscribe. Check out all the links in the description. As always, you guys know I appreciate the love. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.